every time you launch your ads on Facebook or any other advertising network out there, the one thing you are looking for is a response. You want people to respond to your ad, either respond by buying your product or sign up as your lead or visit your website. Regardless of the mode of response, the one thing you want to do is to get people to respond to your ad. And one thing about humans that a lot of advertisers ignore is people respond to what other people have responded to. And that is why social proof is very, very important in marketing. People want to see that whatever you are trying to get them into, other people have used it before just to validate whether it is good for them or not. This concept is also known as a bandwagon effect people are most likely to respond to what they have seen other people respond to. And if you are running ads on Facebook, one way you can get to increase the response you get on your ad is by boosting the engagements on the ad. That's the number of likes you have on the ad, the number of comments, the number of shares, and all those stuff. When people see all of those numbers on your ads, they are most likely to respond to your ad the way you want them to than you having just blank ads. And that's where Facebook engagement ads come in. You can use the engagement ad to boost the engagements on your ad, to boost the number of likes you have, number of comments, number of shares, so that when the people you are targeting with your ad get to see your ad, they are likely going to respond better. Usually when running ads on Facebook, I like using the engagement campaign to really boost the engagement on my ads before using my main campaign objective. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up Facebook engagement ads so that I can also use this same strategy to boost the engagement on your ads and increase the response and conversion you get from your ads on Facebook. Setting up engagement ad is very simple and very, very cheap, like super, super cheap. You can get engagement for very little amount of money. So it does not cost you too much to set up, but it can really affect how your ads are going to perform. So let me walk you through how you can set that up. But before continuing this video, if you are just coming to the channel for the first time, you're welcome. My name is Manuel and on this channel, I create videos about online business, internet marketing and how to make money online. And if you want to see more of my videos in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also guys, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and let me know what you think about this video in the comment section. And with all that said guys, let's get started. So to set up an engagement ad, what you just want to do is to log into your ads manager, then click on this create icon here. Then you have all of these different campaign objectives. What we are going for is engagement right here. Then the next you just want to do is to scroll down, maybe give your campaign a name. Let me say engagement ad. All right, so you can give your ad set a name or your ad a name as well, but I'll just click on continue. Here for the campaign, you can run an A-B test if you want. Turn on campaign budget optimization if you want. Usually, this is a very simple kind of R, so there's not too many technical stuff you need to do. And like I've told you earlier, it is super cheap. So I'll just go for 1,000 Naira daily, for instance. Then you can go ahead and click on next. Then setting up your ad set, the conversion location, leave it on your ad. For the engagement type, video views is if you have a video that you want people to watch, you can use video views to get that post engagement or events responses. The one we'll be going for is post engagement. So I'll select post engagement. That means one people to react to a post on our page. Then I'll scroll down budget and schedule all of those stuffs. Then for your targeting, I recommend you go super broad with this because this is usually not your main campaign objective. So you can reach as many people as you want. What I'm just going to do here is to adjust the age range. So I'll adjust this. Let's say from 20 to 49. Then for gender, except your business is gender based, leaving it at all genders, it's okay. Detail targeting, you can turn on detail targeting expansion. Yeah, that's just a basic thing I'm going to do there. Then placement, if you want Facebook to automatically place your ad where it is most likely to perform better, you go for automatic placement. But I want to show this ad only on Facebook. So I'll go for manual placement, uncheck Instagram and uncheck audience network. Then I'll go ahead and click on next here. Now this way you get to set up your ad. You select the page you are going to be using for this ad. Let me use this for instance. Scroll down. If you want your ad shop on Instagram as well, you have to link your Instagram account to this business account. Okay. Then ad setup, use existing post. 
then you are going to select the post you want to direct all of this engagement to i'll select this and click on continue so you can add the call to action button let me use learn more right then click on update post then once you are done with all of this you can just go ahead and publish your ad you can set to let this ad run maybe for a day or two before you can go ahead to use this post for your main campaign objective maybe if you are trying to sell a product go for your conversion sales if you are trying to get traffic to your website go for your traffic if you are trying to get leads go for your leads and all of that now this is completely optional you can decide not to do engagement before going to your main objective that's fine but this one short strategy that will help you get better results from your facebook ad now if you found this video helpful just hit the like button and if you want to see more videos like this in the future hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification also if you want to see more facebook ad videos just click on any of the videos showing on your screen right now now see you guys in the next video thanks for watching <music>